What is going on guys, it's your boy CJ and I'm back again with another division video So a lot of you guys have been wondering where I've been, what I've been doing um, I'm not gonna explain it in this video, I do have a video coming out soon Maybe on Friday or some shit explaining you know, what I've been doing And uh, what I'm gonna be doing with my channel within the next little bit Because I am gonna be making some changes and whatnot So with that being said, stay tuned for that But this is a build video, so this is the build from the video that I posted uh, about two days ago with some dual manhunt gameplay and some 1vx's and whatnot a lot of people asked for the build so this is it so without further ado let's get right into it so i'm running four piece alpha bridge two piece tactician ninja bike backpack there it's just these pretty simple um i use the alpha bridge the three piece gives me the five percent weapon damage which is five percent raw damage the four piece alpha bridge gives me all the free weapon talents basically i don't have to spec a certain amount of stamina or a certain amount of electronics or firearms to unlock like talents like responsive or unforgiving or anything like that i basically get all those talents for free and that's the benefit of it which is really good as well as i get the extra talent on my primary or secondary so my primary m4 as you guys can see i'm using will have four talents instead of three and that's pretty much it and it's really beneficial so that's also my tactician um, that's obviously to get the 50% skill haste cap. Um, I run solo, obviously, so that is why I need it. It just lowers my cooldowns, which is good for just about any situation. So let's get into the weapons first. I'm running a lightweight M4. It's got 16.1k base damage. It's got deadly, adept, competent, and responsive. All the mods are crit damage and crit chance mods, of course. Now, if you don't want to run deadly, you can run unforgiving and get the raw damage when you're using health which is also pretty good as well. The reason I run Deadly is because I have a lot of skill power, as you guys can see, I have 244k, so my pulse is hitting really well. So having Deadly is just an extra bonus. So that's pretty much it, but you don't have to run it. So keep that in mind. Um, I don't use my secondary, but you could throw in some PB talents on here or something like that if you really want to. I don't really use my secondary at all, so I don't really find any use for it, but I'm sure that you guys can be creative and find some other use for it. So let's get into my gear. I'm running the Barrett's chest piece, let's roll into electronics with 7% skill haste and 16k health, ammo capacity and 2 electronics model with skill haste. Now I want to make something real clear, um, they are selling an electronics model with skill haste in one of the vendors this week, I'm not sure which one as I do craft my mods so I don't really pay attention to the vendor resets like that, but if you do want to pick one up for yourself, if you don't craft them or whatever and you don't want to farm for them, uh, definitely check out this link in the description below take you to a site that has all of the vendor resets where they're being sold all the rolls and everything it updates every week um, I made a whole video about it a while back um, use it because it's really helpful and it saves a lot of time from watching unnecessary people talk about shit that they have no idea about in the vendor reset video or just having to manually do it so keep that in mind it should help you guys out and all you gotta really do if you're looking for just skill haste mod is just Press Ctrl F on your computer and type in skill haste or some shit and you'll find it. So that saved you a lot of time. Just wanted to point that out. Now my Alpha Bridge Mask is rolling to electronics with skill power and it has an electronics model with skill haste. My Alpha Knee Pads are rolling to firearms with health and it has an electronics model with skill haste and first aid self heal mod. My Ninja Bike Backpack which is mandatory for the build or else this can't be ran. Uh, is rolling to firearms with health and ammo capacity, electronics mod with skill haste, and two first aid self heal mods. My tactician gloves are rolled into electronics with skill haste, crit damage, and crit chance. My health rich holster is rolling to skill haste. The, mo the rolls aren't that good, but I'm pretty sure I have better ones. I just don't really use it. I'm too lazy to roll it and shit, blah blah blah. I haven't really been playing this much, so that's yeah. But uh, that's pretty much it, so let's go into the abilities and stuff. So my concealed pulse hits for a 23 crit chance, 23 crit damage, and 19 second cooldown. Um, if you want to run recon pulse like I normally do, it has 27 crit chance, 27 crit damage with a 14 second cooldown, which is also really good as well. Now, even with the concealed 19 second cooldown, you don't need to have a 14 second cooldown to stack adept if that's what you're trying to do. Uh, stacking adept does work with this build. If you time out your stuff properly, you kill the NPCs, so the NPCs are making your cooldowns longer by default, which is what happens when you pop your pulse with a bunch of enemies. Um, 
you don't you don't really worry about stacking a depth even no matter what pulse you use so keep that in mind a lot of people say that you have to have a 14 second cooldown at least to run it but you don't so i uh, just want to point that out now my heal which is an overdose heals me for 264k and has a 20 second cooldown and that's pretty much it my talents are critical save strike back precision and one is none um, I've just been really screwing around with stuff lately, so that's why I have one is none. Um, it's good if you're hitting headshots, but if you're not, then of course you're on one is none. It gives you the extra armor when you kill people while you're moving, so that's pretty much it. The build is really fun, uh, and it's not, I guess, the same as what everyone else is really running, because everyone's kind of running high-end or some other type of shit. So it's a fun build. It can be run in the group, can be run by yourself, can be run in last stand or anywhere else. So. That's pretty much it. It's been your boy. If this helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like, comment, and if you're new, make sure to subscribe because you don't want to miss the video, you know what I'm saying? So, that's it. It's been your boy CJ. See you guys in the next video. And I'm out. Peace.